Hey guys, how's it going? It's a Pocket back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can downgrade iOS 12 back to iOS 11. So, let's get started. If you have upgraded to iOS 12 and you don't like it, you experience so many issues, it's very slow and all this crap, then you have still got time to downgrade back to iOS 11.4.1. However, if you want to downgrade, then make sure to decide it very quickly because Apple is going to stop allowing you to do this in a couple of days from now. Because typically when they release a new version, they give you the opportunity to downgrade back to the previous version for only one week. So if you lose this opportunity, then you won't be able to do it later on. So please make sure to keep this in mind. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get started. So for this, you obviously need a computer with iTunes installed. So first things first, go ahead and connect your iPhone to your computer. Then on your computer, go ahead and launch iTunes. But if you have Windows, you need to go ahead and download iTunes, which are free. Next, move on to your iPhone and then hit on the backup now button, which is going to backup all of the data from your iPhone. And the reason why we're doing this is because if you downgrade back to iOS 11, this involves restoring your iPhone to its factory settings. And by doing this, we're going to restore the data back to the iPhone once we go back to iOS 11. Next up, go to your favorite browser and type IPSW. We're going to use this site in order to download the iOS 11.4.1 firmware according to your Apple device model. In my case, it's the iPhone 6, so we're going to go and select iPhone 6. In this section, you're going to see that only two firmwares are signed, meaning that you can only use those two in order to restore your iPhone with. If iOS 11.4.1 is signed, it means that you're allowed to restore your iPhone or your Apple device using this iOS version. So go ahead and download it, then go back to iTunes and now it's time to restore your iPhone. If you're using a Windows PC, then hold down the Shift key, but if you're using a Mac, hold down the Alt key. Then press on the Restore iPhone. Then go ahead and find the iOS firmware that you have just downloaded. In my case, it's on my downloads folder. So go ahead, find it, and then drag and drop in this window. And then click on open. Then click on restore. And then just let iTunes to do the rest. Okay, so now you're on the hello screen. So iPhone now has been downgraded to iOS 11. And it's really simple here. You just need to follow the instructions and you're going to be done in no time. Once you reach this step, then select Restore from iTunes. Okay, now your iPhone has been fully restored and on your iTunes, then go to Restore from this backup and click on Continue. This is going to restore all your data that you have backed up while you were on iOS 12. Okay, so now your iPhone has been fully restored with your backup and just press on the home button in order to upgrade, type your password, and now your iPhone is going to reboot. And now again, you're on the hello screen. So again, follow the instructions, type your password if you need to. And again, just carry on following the instructions. Nothing hard in here. It's just like pretty much what you needed to do when you bought your iPhone. And after that, you're ready to use your iPhone again. Now, if you go back to settings then go to journal, and then about, you're going to see that you have iOS 11.4.1. So now I have successfully downgraded my iPhone from iOS 12 back to iOS 11. Now, if it doesn't work for you, then I will highly recommend you to, to try again, but this time go to DFU mode by holding down the power button, volume up and volume down button for around 10 seconds until you see the iTunes logo and then go to iTunes and restore your iPhone by using the same method I show you by selecting the iOS 11 firmware. And if it doesn't work, then that means that Apple has probably stopped signing iOS 11. That means that you can, you're not able anymore to restore your iPhone using iOS 11. And this pretty much brings to the end of this video. So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to hit the like button if you like this video. Drop a comment, let me know what iPhone do you have and whether did you like iOS 12 and why you decided to downgrade back to iOS 11. Share this video to your friends if you found this video helpful. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it in order to stay notified on this video and receive every update from our channel. Thanks for watching and as always, I'm gonna see you to my next video.